Well, I wanted to do a video on what actually makes gas masks look creepy. Uh, because, you know, I've done videos on creepy looking masks before and lots of people agree they do look creepy, but what is it that makes them look creepy? And there's quite a lot of factors to that, so we're going to go right into that. And I think mostly it's hiding human features. Lots of masks are freaky. You know, that's why in horror films often you have your killer wearing a mask, because hiding them, you think, what's underneath it? And it doesn't really help, does it, with a lot of gas masks, that they have quite weird alien sort of bug-like designs, or the Soviet masks that look like skulls. There's something quite unnatural looking to them. So you have first that the person's face is obscured, and you think, what's their intentions? I don't know what they're up to. So humans sort of have a fear of masks, I think, anyway. Then we add to the fact that it's a gas mask or a respirator, made to protect the user from chemical weapons, biological weapons, nuclear fallout. So when you add all those things on, you start getting into you know, the area of, um, there's a danger concern. Why is somebody having to wear a gas mask? I'm not safe. So um, you get all that sort of aspect to it as well, that the person wearing it, is wearing it for their protection, but you don't have that protection, so it's a bit creepy for that reason. And I said, lots of masks have very odd, creepy designs as well. I think there's something where the masks look, some of the masks looks quite humanoid, but not quite. So it's that uncanny valley sort of appeal to it. Where it muffles the user's voice, and that's also a bit freaky as well. Especially the masks that tend to vibrate and make odd noises as somebody talks that make them sound insectoid or robotic. Generally humans have a repulsion to insects and I think some masks really do make the person wearing them look a bit insectoid. If you throw that in with all the full NBC gear and you have, you know, somebody that looks vaguely humanoid as well, it becomes a lot creepier still I think as well. So what I'm going to do now is just put on a couple of different masks with some creepy under lighting and we're going to look at some more gas masks that look freaky with you know weird lighting and everything else 